The Welcome Center is a great introduction into Osceola County history and into the native species and plant life that you could see in Osceola County. The museum is actually divided into four different habitats. As they first walk in, they're greeted by a life-size steamboat. Uh, then they move into the swamp lands. There they'll discover the early uh, Seminole Indian history and also our early Spanish history. Then we move into the Pine Flatwoods, which is our industry area. We do showcase the Cabin family, who is big into citrus and the Narcusi area. Then you come into our transportation area where we talk about the railroads and um, the way that the pioneers would move throughout Osceola County. Um, then you come into the Oak Hammock where we showcase pioneer life. From there you move into the lakefront area and that's the area where we talk about the early tourism industry in Osceola County, some of the hotels. We had one of the largest hotels um, south of Jacksonville in Kissimmee and we also had an opera house there and electricity 22 years before Orlando. So people can see some of the early families, some pictures of the families, um, and some of the things that they used in their daily life. At the Pioneer Village, we have four historic buildings that date to the late 1800s. Um, one of them is showcased as a general store. It's the Tyson home, and it was lived in by a couple with their 11 children, and it's one room. So a typical general store that we have showcased is not something that you would have found in town in the city of Kissimmee. They would have had much larger stores there. This is set up as a typical general store in a village, and they would have had just very primitive things such as coffee grinders, um, a few pans and things like that that they could have used in the kitchen. They also could have found some of their flour and things that they needed on a daily basis. For anything else that they would need, they would have had to go into Kissimmee, which would have been a long haul for them. The linear house is built of cypress, and that's what they would have been, the pioneers were logging at the time. Cypress is a very hard and sturdy wood, and it's also bug resistant, which is one reason why it holds up as long as it does. That is a board and batten construction, and when you go into the home, you'll notice there's no corner posts. The entire roof is being held by a single width of board and batten. And then it has the dog trot through the center, which allows the breeze to come in. The homes were raised up off the ground so that the air could kind of travel around them and keep them cooler in the summer because it was so hot. In the schoolhouse, the visitors can learn about school life from the late 1800s. They'll see the desks that the kids sat in, the teacher's desk, there was always a piano in there. They did not go to school year round and most of the kids in this area had to work on the family farm, work the cattle, work in the citrus. But we do have some books in there that showcase what they would have learned. I hate to see that sun sinking. We also have a citrus packing house that came from the Narcusi area. It was part of the Cadman family homestead and they were a British family that moved over and settled in Narcusi from England. And it's uh, full of all the equipment that they used during the, for the packing of the oranges and the cleaning and packaging and shipping. The blacksmith shop that you'll see at the Pioneer Village was actually um, one that you would have seen in a big town. So it was in Kissimmee. There they would have made nails and they would have fixed shoes for the horses and um, any kind of metal work that they needed for the community would have been made there.